there is a structure right over here which overlaps both the submucosa here and the mucosa. So let's take a look at this structure here. Notice that we have two colors. We have a light blue color on the outside and a darker color on the inside. What this is meant to represent is a lymphoid nodule, which is essentially a dense aggregation of lymphocytes and some other cells of the immune system. And what this darker color represents, what is called a germinal center. So this darker region would represent the germinal center of the lymphoid nodule. Notice that the lymphoid nodule can be found both in the submucosa and in the mucosa and overlapping both of these layers. Notice that the submucosa is basically going to provide a supportive role for the overlying mucosa. Here we have an artery and a vein present in the submucosa and here we have a lymphatic vessel which is collecting the lymph that is absorbing the fat from the mucosa. Over here within the submucosa of the duodenum you will find this distinctive gland which has a number of names. It's called the, sometimes the Brunner's glands. It's uh, sometimes simply referred to as the submucosal glands. It's also known as the duodenal glands because it's distinctive of the duodenum. And these Brunner's or submucosal glands are going to produce a secretion rich in bicarbonate and containing also mucus and this bicarbonate mucoid secretion will be secreted in great quantity in the duodenum in order to neutralize the acidic chyme that is coming into the duodenum from the stomach. Also notice over here you have nerves and the, the nerves are forming this rather complicated looking interweaving plexus and so this network is called a plexus and this plexus that you find within the submucosa can simply be referred to as the submucosal plexus. It's also known as Meissner's plexus. And the nerves that are found within the plexus are going to be nerves that supply the, the smooth muscles and the glands. So there'll be efferent neurons that cause the glands to secrete and cause the smooth muscles to contract. You'll also have afferent neurons, sensory neurons, that are detecting the conditions of the wall of the intestines.